Eamon Khan here, four seconds out with rapping sensation Blueface. Looking to be boxing sensation this weekend. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. Good Good like see it. Like like looking like a winner, decked out in all blue. Ed Matthews is the opponent. Look, how did this come about, Blue? Um, I guess they already had this event, and I guess he needed a fight, and he asked for me. So he got it. I'm here. Now, when I watched the live between you, he was quite surprised at your weight. Do you feel that's going to play a factor, you being a lot heavier than him? No, I lost all the way for him already. By the time I weigh in, I should probably be 160 or less, you know. I don't want to scare him too much, so he was surprised with 170, so I shredded it all down for him. No excuse, man. I don't want to hear nothing about I'm taller, I'm heavier, we're the same weight. He asked for this fight, so that's what he asked for. He's the type of guy who looks to try and get into your head. He was saying in, the, in that live, like, look, your girl is this, that, and the other. Did that get in, in your skin, under your skin? Not at all. I, I mean, I know my girl more than he know my girl, so there's nothing he can say that I don't know I already know, you know. Now, there are online reports that are alleged, I have to say that, but there are reports that maybe Ed was using steroids. Have you read those reports? Are you concerned about that at all? Man, steroids couldn't help him with me. <laughs> he got he to gotta touch me, and... Uh, you no, know, judging off the reach, I don't plan on him touching me. I plan on first jab, as soon as he feels it with 10-ounce gloves, he's going to be running the whole the rest of the fight. I mean, what do you think about it as a fighter? Do you think he's good? Uh, I think he's I think he's just starting his little inexperience. You know, I think he's a, maybe more of a brawler than a fighter. And, you know, I just waste a lot of energy. You know, boxing is more conserved, you know, more conservative, more strategic, more planned out. So that's the only thing I say he'll probably lack. Did you get an offer to come to this tournament? Uh, I did get an offer, but uh, I guess somebody got injured and then they recovered, so they took me out and just put me at a wild card. Who are you trying to fight? Look, you beat Ed Matthews, and what, what's next for you? Man, whoever called me, man, with that money, I'll fight your ass if they call <laughs> me. Feel me? Anybody. Anybody they call me with some money, with the right amount of money, I'm going to fight, bro. Yeah, I hope you don't fight me. I ain't, I ain't a fighter like yourself. Um, Christian, though, will Christian ever step into the ring? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Never, never say never. What about uh, KSI versus Joe Fournier? You got eyes on that fight? Who do you think wins? Uh, no, I'm not. I, I got, I got to do some research, but I haven't, I haven't heard about it or thought about it. So. How about you and Jake Paul? Yeah, anybody, bro. Jake Paul, KSI, Slim, Bim, Rim, Lim, Foam, Bone. I fight my mama. They got that money. You hear me? I hear, I hear you, Blue. Blue. Pleasure speaking to you. Thanks for taking a second on. Cheers. Cheers.